we've got the engine off the dyno. We've got some dyno sheets. Just quickly, a refresher. All we did was test two sizes of pipe. One three quarter inch uh, tri-wire from Pacemaker and a one and five eighths tri-wire from Pacemaker. The difference is negligible. Um, I was surprised to see that the one and three quarter made uh, a little more torque, even low down, but it's got a few dips in the torque curve in the middle uh, and up top. Let's have a look at the dyno sheet to see what's cooking. We're coming back to the uh, dyno room to look at the dyno sheets and compare the differences between the one and three quarter inch pipe versus the one and five eighths pipe. And if you look carefully, our green line represents horsepower, our purple line represents torque. The shape of the torque curve is very similar. Peak power is a little bit higher at 296 horsepower versus 283. Peak torque is very, very similar, 336 for the small pipe, 338 for the one and three quarter inch pipe. The one and three quarter inch pipe also displays a couple of dips in the torque curve at several points. And that's probably due to ram tuning. When you have an intake manifold and an extractor that aren't perfectly matched, that can tend to happen. Over scavenging, under scavenging, there are a variety of reasons. I'm not really interested, it's not important. I would personally still use a one and five eighths pipe to get a smoother shape of the torque curve, even though our peak is lower. Enough of the dyno computers. Let's take the engine uh, into the engine room, change some cams. <laughs> 